Hello everyone, this is Highlander from MTG Cardsmith, uh, doing another MTGC custom magic card review. Here we have another card by Arceus from his set Bafflum. Uh, we're kind of going through some of the some of the cards he's showcasing here. Um, and we've seen a lot of interesting mechanics so far, uh, and, un and unique things too, which I, I love. Uh, so let's take a look at this guy. This is Demonic Servant. Is there really not a magic card called Demonic Servant? Okay, hold on. We gotta look this up. Guess not. Surprising. All right. Um, this is a demon. Whenever it's a two-two. Whenever a single source you control deals an amount of damage equal to one of demonic. Oh boy, look at this wording. Okay, let me let me. Whenever a single source you control deals an amount of damage equal to one of Demonic Servant's unmarked conditions, put a check marker on that condition. Yikes. Okay. As long as three or more conditions on Demonic Servant are marked, it gets plus two plus zero. Oh. Um. This one. This is a little too cute for me. Um, first of all, uh, uh, from a power level standpoint, this is an uncommon. This is a lot of hoops to jump through to get a 4-2 menace. I didn't see the menace at first, so, but still, this, this is a lot of hoops. Well, actually, hold on. It's a source, right? So... Yeah, maybe it's not too hard. It, it's it's actually hard to tell. Um, I mean, he okay, he can himself trigger the two. So you would need something to deal three, something to deal four. So, you know, like a lightning bolt and a four power creature attacking or something, and then this becomes a plus two plus so menace. Maybe it's not too hard, but... It's, yeah, it's hard to tell how difficult that is to pull off. But I, I, I don't know how much of a, I'm a fan of the checkbox mechanic. Um, you don't really want to be raiding on your magic cards. I mean, I, I assume that, like, you, you know, I, I assume that most players will not actually be writing on their magic cards. But this card is basically asking you to do that. Essentially, right? I know it says check marker, so it doesn't actually say check mark. But I mean, look at this. There's a box there to check. Okay. Would it? Okay. If you're a kitchen table player, you're like, like imagine you're like new to magic, or or you're not very, you know, you're you're just a very casual player. This card is telling you to check mark the card, and then the next time you play this card, it's gonna have check marks on it, which means like. Is this card supposed to just permanently get check marks on it? Because that's that's kind of like how you would see this as like a new player, right? Okay, if you're if you're a, uh, an experienced player, you're probably like, okay, well, you know, the check markers go away at the end of the game, uh, you know, or if the creature leaves leaves the battlefield or whatever. So, you know, you gotta you gotta sort of redo this this whole thing every time. But like, as a new player. You're gonna check mark this card, and now your card is just forever a <laughs> forever a four two menace. Uh, I know that's not how the rules work, but like that's how people that's how some people can perceive this card, right? I I, I can't say I'm a big fan of that. I, I see what you're trying to do here. You're like, okay, meet this condition, meet this condition, meet this condition. Now you get a bonus, and I think that's that's an admirable goal. But I don't think this quite. This is going a little too far, I think. Um, yeah. So. The, the also the 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 wording here is very confusing. Um, whenever a single source you control deals an amount of damage equal to one of demonic servants' unmarked conditions, put a check marker on that condition. It's a bit of a mouthful, um, and you kind of have to word it that way because of the mechanic. Um, I like the idea of, like, I like the idea of this mechanic, right? The idea that, like, okay, if you meet these conditions, then you get a bonus. I think that's cool. I don't really like the execution so much on this one. Um, so I'll give this one a 3 out of 5. 
you know, you, your, your head's, your heart's in the right place, for sure. But I think this one's just a little bit too cute to really uh, pull off in this way. Um, there, there, there could be other ways to do this. Um, I'm not gonna, I, I, I'm not gonna think of any off the top of my head. But again, I, I just don't think the execution's there. So anyway, that's my review of Demonic Servant. Thank you for watching.